Well, the clay process, I guess, largely speaking, you're working within the last 10% of the design. You're really working with the minutiae of detail and line refinement and, and surface control. And actually, it's those two characteristics, probably more so than anything, that you are optimizing. You know, quality of line, but with it, then the quality of surface. And clay is just, it's a fantastic medium to do that in because it's malleable and also because it's, it's real time, you're doing it there in front of you. and there's a certain latitude within which you're, you're working with and then as, as you near the end of, of that phase you're sort of bringing it down to the, the finer movements and the finer refinements. The foil, uh, or dynock as it's called in the industry, um, replicates the real surface of the car, so the painted surface of the car. judge it very much with, with light. The lighting in the room is always running in car line with the car and this gives us a, you know, sort of a, a theoretical mapping on the surface to see exactly what the surface is doing. You can see how it connects, how the light moves over it. Our cars, I think, on first impression, are very, very sober. They're very, very clean. The surfaces are, are distilled of any kind of clutter. That purity requires a huge amount of, of focus and dedication to get the simplicity of line and the simplicity of surface. Final stage is really about understanding how we are, how we are living up to the quality of execution. A living canvas is created by hand beating and honing metal. And the resulting aluminium body is created with a clarity of surface and continuation of line that is unable to be achieved by machine alone. The car very purposefully projects a strong vision of modernity. Um, but the the real juxtaposition is that then this is paired with a, a very historic process of realization. The, the car starts its life with just sheet metal. Um, and, and first you have to create form to that metal. Um, and that takes place through, in this instance, the hammer forming process. We are realizing a car by hand. You would never, through the process of industrialization, expect to find the creative hand of the team and indeed the clients still involved at this stage. Building a car by hand allows the human soul to pass through the hands that are charged with shaping the metal and into the car. Industrialization, it, it, it's, it's clinical. It's carefully controlled, but it's also soulless. Um, and what we are doing here is, is the complete opposite of that. I think true perfection can almost be seen as uh, sterile. The car, by way of its definition, is never entirely perfect. Um, but somewhere in there is the perfect imperfection. The metal is, is formed and it's fettled. It's checked and then it's refettled and it's rechecked until you arrive close to the final definition of the exterior surface of the car. Uh, and that is a, an exhaustive process, um, relying on the intuition and the intervention of, of the human hand and the human eye. Uh, and that's a, a really incredible thing. The 
bonnet is sprayed by hand and it has this wonderful transition from a dark color to a lighter shade of, of blue. It's a canvas that represents the, the human hand that created it. The first of three bow tails is a culmination of our patron's exceptional thoughts, concepts and items which form the perfect experience. It truly personifies connoisseurship. The client couple who commissioned Rolls Royce Coachbill to fashion this bow tail wish to create a celebration of life and success, a statement of joyfulness, a moving work of art to enjoy with their family and friends. And in response, the rear deck is designed to house a highly ambitious concept never seen before in the automotive world. It opens in a butterfly gesture to reveal the treasure chest of moving parts, an intricate and generous hosting suit. This area becomes a celebratory focal point for shared occasions and is appointed with a perfect accoutrements for a true al fresco Rolls-Royce dining experience. This particular client is an aficionado of watches and has commissioned two extraordinary timepieces for his boat tail. At the client's request, the House of Rolls-Royce and the House of Beauvais have worked hand in hand to create exquisite, groundbreaking timepieces that reimagine Rolls Royce's iconic centerpiece, the dashboard clock. What is particularly special about this commission is that it is linking to our heritage. And it tells a wonderful story of the historic boat tail body style, but our modern interpretation is just that. You know, it's thoroughly contemporary. Um, but at the same time, it still evokes the qualities of the historic body style. We firmly believe that the future of luxury is about creating something singular. Rolls-Royce Coach Build is a highly distilled expression of Rolls-Royce bespoke and is reserved for those who look to move beyond existing constraints. When these cars go live, all eyes on us. And for that reason, I think they have a tremendous impact into the brand. They are addressing desires. Many people in the world might say, one day I would love to own such a Coach Build project myself. It's technically a car. In reality, when it comes to the heart of our clients, it's an object of art. It's luxury in its purest form. This kind of project is not a matter of money. 